Our muscles range in size and function, but essentially there's two types, voluntary and involuntary. Involuntary muscles contract and relax without any conscious thought at all, like the muscles controlling our lungs or the heart muscle itself. Actually, the heart is quite unique. We often think of it as a vital organ, but it's really one very specialised involuntary muscle. In this video, we'll focus on voluntary muscles, those we control directly from our brain. Take an arm muscle like the bicep, for example. If we took a cross-section of the muscle, we'd see the muscle itself is made up of thousands of muscle fibres arranged in bundles. Each muscle fibre itself consists of many smaller fibres, but we need to zoom in even further to what's called the myofibrils to see where the real work is done. Turning the myofibrils side on, they look something like a row of cylinders that pull together in the same direction when the muscle is activated. When activation stops, they spring back to their resting position. Each myofibril, or bank of cylinders, is only a fraction of the thickness of this hair. Yet, within each one of these is a miniature power plant, which has the job of converting a chemical reaction into actual physical movement. When a signal from the brain reaches the muscle, thousands of chemical reactions are triggered off. Inside each myofibril is a chemical called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which is the basic stored energy for these reactions. When ATP is broken down, its energy is released, causing the muscle to contract. If we look even closer, we see that these contractions happen in a very unique way. Many reactions take place along each cylinder-like strand. The inner strand is known as a myosin filament, while the outer ones are called actin filaments. Between each myosin and actin filament are tiny protein projections known as cross bridges. It's here that ATP gives off its energy in small bursts. Together, these bursts cause the microscopic filaments to be pulled together. Every burst of ATP is like a small pull on a rope. With many cross bridges working together, a lot of work can get done.